You know those white lines planes leave in the sky? It's not smoke, and the real answer is literally chilling. Every time a plane passes, it's secretly scribbling a cloud that can heat the planet faster than the jet's own CO2. So the sky turns into a giant thermal blanket made from frozen airplane breath. At 35,000 feet, it's negative 40 degrees Celsius, and jet exhaust is basically a steamy soup of water vapor and tiny soot. When that 400-degree blast meets the Arctic cold air, the vapor flash freezes into ice crystals that hook onto soot like Velcro. Poof! An instant man-made cloud called a contrail. If the sky is dry, the crystals melt and vanish in minutes, but hit a thin, humid layer and the contrail blossoms into cirrus sheets that can last 10 hours, trapping heat that would have escaped to space. One long flight can draw a blanket bigger than Rhode Island, Add up every plane, every day, and those innocent white lines give aviation up to two-thirds of its warming punch, equal to every gram of CO2 planes have ever dumped since 1945. Good news! Airlines can dodge most of it. Satellites now spot icy sky deserts in real time, so pilots just climb or descend a few hundred feet, same detour as avoiding pockets of turbulence. Early tests cut contrails 60% while burning only 0.03% extra fuel. That's like removing the warming of every car in America for the price of one extra bag of peanuts per flight. So, next time you see a plane sketch a line, ask yourself, should we keep coloring the sky invisible or reroute and chill the planet instead? Tell me, smart fix or pilot headache?